Okay, let us have a peek at Angela by the Lumineers. Capo on the fourth fret. Mine's a little too far, too close to fret four there, fret five. Okay, there we go. Got to test those capos. Okay, so our chords, a uh, nice G, D minor, that's the one, string one fret one, string three fret two, and string two fret three. I like to, you'll see me use my pinky there. And you strum from the fourth string down. That's a nice big fat chord there, that C with the G in the bass. You can just play a C, and that sounds fine for that chord. If you want it, now we played a similar chord when we did um, a C or an F with a C in the bass. It's very similar, like this. It's the same fingering, but all your fingers are up a string, and you don't don't bar the first fret. Just leave string one open because it's a C chord, basically with a G in the bass. This is your G string six fret three. Oops. You can try it, see how it feels. You might be used to it because you did the F with the C in the bass. Uh, a minor, C, regular C that is, and, and E minor. Um, our strum pattern is so fun for this. This uh, apple, apple, banana, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, apple, apple, pause, and then banana. So the pause is just one strum or one half of an apple. It's it's really a little pause, but that little pause makes the whole strum pattern. Apple, apple, banana, apple, apple, banana. Then yeah, pick a familiar chord like C or G or something and, and practice that strum pattern. Or like apple, apple, banana, apple, apple, pause, banana, apple, apple, pause, banana. slow, work your speed up, and it never gets that fast, to be honest, this, this song. So let's check it out. When you left this town with your window I'm going to keep going, actually. Sorry. Goes down So I'm actually going to let this play out pre-chorus. myself into trouble letting it go that long. Sorry, I should have cut it off. But uh, the intro. Once on G, once on D minor, but twice on the C with the G in the bass. And again, I don't know why they don't didn't just make two lines exactly the same, but if they did, that would have been nice because you could see the intro is just the same pattern two times in a row. Once on G, once on D minor, twice on the C with the G in the bass. And then that pattern continues into verse one. Remember the C with the G in the bass gets two strum patterns. And oh, the pre-chorus, that's where I should have stopped because here, once on G, once on D minor, 
once on C with a G in the bass, once on A minor, once on G on Angela, once on D minor, and then twice on the C with the G in the bass. It's really the end. That C with the G in the bass at the beginning of verse two really belongs to the pre-chorus and on Volvo Light, you can consider that G chord the beginning of verse two. That's really how that goes. Um, you resume your regular strum pattern here, once on G, once on D minor, twice on the C with the G in the bass, on cities on the signs, with the cities on the signs. And then repeat that pattern. And I think maybe the pre-chorus is where I left off. Let's go back and get that. Oh, home at last, he's saying. Okay, so the pre-chorus from the second time around. Once on G. Oh, is it this, it's the same as the other pre-chorus? Except the C at the end. Home at last. Do this strum pattern twice on the C chord. And then this chorus, let's see. Safe and warm in your coat of arms, your fingers in fist. Oh, sorry, let me Did go back. That's what I wanted. So he says home at last, but not on the C chord, you notice. It's kind of like on the G and the A minor chord in the chorus. So the chorus, should the words home at last should be there. You're going once on the G, once on A minor, two times on the E minor, and then verse three is gonna be the same as the other verses. Okay, so your verse three is exactly the same as your other verses. Pre-chorus, let's check that out. So those static codes in the radio home at last twice this time but let's see uh, pre uh, the pre-course after verse 3 one strum pattern per chord so far yeah one strum pattern per chord until you get to the C chord where it says whole life running away Twice on that one, and then home at last on the chorus. One on G, one on A minor, two on E minor, and then do it that again. Even though it looks weird the way they set it up there, it's G once on uh, home at last, A A minor once, twice on the E minor again, and then you're gonna resume the normal progression or the regular progression on the pre-chorus. Let the 
this play out here and then explain. Ending. Okay, so the pre-chorus after the chorus and before the next chorus, <laughs> uh, yeah, one strum pattern per chord break. Consider the E minor at the beginning, beginning of that pre-chorus. It's the end of the chorus, and then hotel room is the, the beginning with that G chord. Once per chord. all the way through once per chord and the chorus once on G once on a minor but twice on E minor um, do that four times yeah four times and then that last G on the last home at last one strum pattern and you just do one strum pattern per chord all the way through the outro. But very soft strumming. Remember, you can move your hand a little closer to the sound hole or closer to your left hand. That last G, the last chord, gets one strum. Not a whole strum pattern, but just one gentle strum. All right. You can use the flesh of your thumb or very gentle with your nail. Yeah. So another great Lumineer song. So much fun. Uh, and uh, just have fun. Practice hard. And we will, uh, we will see you soon. See you next time. Thanks for watching.